Hey YouTube, welcome to uh, another intermediate uh, video lesson. Um, so today we're going to talk about the forgotten left foot. All right, and actually I think there's been books written about this. Um, actually, I, I know there have. Um, so the forgotten left foot. So what I want to talk about today is keeping time with your left foot. Um, whenever I go and watch uh, live music, and I love to watch live music, um, um, one of the first things I, I, I watch from the drummer is if he, if he does anything with his left foot. Okay? Uh, so this is a, a really important topic that I think um, is kind of forgotten in many ways. Um, I love the hi-hat. It's actually my favorite part of the instrument. It's actually part of the reason why I don't play double bass or double pedal. Okay? Um, so what we're going to talk about today is keeping time with the left foot when you're not riding on the hi-hat. Okay, so when you're riding on the ride cymbal or any other voice other than the hi-hat, you want to keep time with your left foot. Okay? The reason for this, okay, uh, you know, many younger drummers, they, they, you know, when they get off the hi-hat and maybe they go to the chorus of, of the song and they go to the ride or a crash, they just, their hi-hat stops. But the idea, I mean, the, the, the ride or crash or whatever you go to is not meant to replace the hi-hat. It's meant to be added over top as the dynamic level you know, goes higher, okay? So yeah, you want, you want to continue to keep time with your left foot for a couple reasons, all right? It adds a fourth layer of sound, almost like a shaker effect to your groove. It locks in your groove. And it also acts as a time source, not only for you, but for the rest of the band, okay? So I want to, I want to go over, I guess, uh, some of the basic ways as well as the more intermediate ways. Um, and I guess some of it could be considered advanced as well, depending on, on how difficult it is for you. Uh, so let's, let's start off with this, okay? So what we're first going to do, and the, if you've never done this before, this is the one you want to start off with, okay? Is just hitting your left foot uh, down on two and four, which is when your, your snare drum hits. Easy, okay? So whenever your snare drum hits, hit your hi-hat with your left foot, okay? And that's gonna go just like this. Okay, so that's a piece of cake, uh, and that's really easy to get into uh, for the most part. Again, you're just playing it on two and four, and, and the idea is hopefully you get to a point where it's on autopilot. When you naturally go to the ride cymbal, you naturally do this without having to think about it. Okay, so that's where I would start. Now from there, it's in time to move to quarter notes, okay, and again, the hi-hat's just going to play on one, two, three, and four, and that's going to go just like this. Okay, so here your left foot is doing quarter notes, okay? Now that, uh, if you're new to this, that will be tricky, okay? What I would do to get into this is I would first start off, I would just take a basic you know, quarter note, eighth note groove, and I would do just the feet first. I would do just the feet, okay? Get, get the feet, uh, the coordination between your right foot and left foot going, okay, with, with, with nothing from the hands. Get that going first. And once you can do that, then maybe add the hi-hat, you know, doing eighth notes, and then finally add your backbeat on two and four. So I think if you build it from the ground up, so to speak, that way, I think you'll find it to, uh, that you'll get it down quicker and easier. And then once you start to get more comfortable with it and the muscle memory sets in, you, may, you, you won't necessarily have to start from the ground up uh, to get it going. But that's a, that's a good way to, to practice it if it's really giving you trouble, okay? 
So from there, let's do eighth notes on the left foot, okay? That's going to sound like this. Okay, so eighth notes with the left foot. Now this is easy and hard. And what I mean by that is it's easy in the fact that, you're, uh, that your left foot's just gonna copy your right hand. So your right hand's playing eighth notes and your left foot's gonna do the same thing. Okay, so that's kind of easy as far as getting that you know, lined up. But keeping all the pieces together without flamming and without any you know, flub of the flub of this happening uh, can be really difficult because your legs are moving a lot. So um, I think one of the harder parts about this is staying balanced on your, uh, on your throne, okay? So uh, that definitely takes some practice, so take your time with that, okay? Uh, and I will say that with keeping time with the left foot, I definitely raise my leg when I do this. I don't keep my heel down. You could, but I think you get a stronger chick sound from the hi-hat when you use your whole leg, okay? So the next uh, pattern that you uh, would want to maybe start trying to uh, tackle, which I think is the hardest one, is putting the hi-hat on the upbeats, on the ands. Okay, and that's going to sound like this. Okay, so that's on the upbeat side. That's actually my favorite spot to put it in. I really like that, especially if I'm emphasizing a quarter note on the bell or something like that. I really like uh, the upbeat. I think that's really cool. So, uh, so anyway, so this is a good starting point. This is where I would start from. I'm going to do a part two on the forgotten left foot. I'm going to go into uh, more intermediate and advanced concepts of using the left foot. But this is a good starting point, okay? So, uh, so try it out, take a slow mirror, start with the feet first if you need to, okay, and build from the ground up uh, into your groove, and the more you do it, the easier it will get, especially as your feet get acclimated to, to working with each other, <laughs> okay? So take care and stay tuned uh, for part two as we get into uh, some more fancier uh, ideas using the, uh, the hi-hat foot, okay? So take care, and uh, we'll see you soon.